somebody found a bug in one of my previous episodes and I'd like to post a fix to that particular episode which is quite an old one so how would I go about doing that how about using a patch Welcome to Mobile Application Tutorials, my name is Nigel. Okay, so this tutorial is going to be about applying and creating patches, Git patches, using Android Studio. The history to this one is someone's found a bug in one of my older tutorials. So I want to get a patch, uh, create a code fix for that particular episode, which is a bit older. And so the best method for me to do that, I believe, is by creating a patch. And Android Studio facilitates that and makes that quite simple. So I'm going to show you how to do that. And then I'm going to put the patch in that particular episode with references to this tutorial so people will understand how to get the code fixes themselves as well. And so basically this is an introduction, creating and applying patches using Android Studio. So let's make a start. And so the issue happens to be in the Android Camera 2 video application in the older episode. I, I'm not seeing this problem. I haven't been able to reproduce it on my Nexus software, on my Nexus device itself on running on Android Marshmallow. But a number of people are seeing this particular issue. So we'll put a fix in. And the fix doesn't affect the... Um, running and the behavior of my video to application on my hardware so i'm happy to put the fix in there okay so the first thing i want to do is i've got the code open on my android studio ide and so the first thing i want to do is i want to resync the version on git which is synchronized with that particular older episode. And so I've actually got a tag for that. So I can just basically switch across to the tag and code, then put my fix on that. By doing that, I'm going to guarantee that the code from that particular tutorial, my fix will work on top of that. There'll be no issues. So what I'm going to do here now is click on the bottom here and type git tag. And that will show me all the tags. And this particular issue happens on this tag here camera to video connect so I'm just going to copy that then go across here and select git master and we're going to check out that tag so it's just a matter of pasting it in there okay and it's asking me to do a sync so I'll do the sync now on the project yeah the gradle sync's now completed now I can go ahead and implement the fix fix happens to be in connect camera and so basically the issue we believe exists in the manifest permission camera. Um, it should have an Android pendant in front of that. So for those of you Android Studio enthusiasts who like to see little tricks, watch this one. I'm going to create some multiple cursors. So one here, I need to change this in three places, so I just want to do it typing the code once. And a cursor here and a cursor here. And now I'm just going to append Android dot in front of those lines. And that's it. Okay, so I've fixed those three lines there using the multiple cursor methods. So um, that might have to late, wait for my tips and tricks using Android Studio. So the fix is now in place. It's in pl so now I'm ready to actually pack put that um, into a package so if we just go to VCS up here and create a patch and it's very similar to where you submit a change set into git so it's got my three changes there so I'm happy with those three changes it's only the one file I'm changing here and it's good to put a commit message. You will need to have some type of message in here. So I'll put change the camera permission check to Android manifest camera. Okay, I think that's enough. And let me just check something out. And next step, all you have to do is create a patch. So you get this pop-up box here. What I want to do is it's, the name's really long, so I just want to shorten that. I don't need such a big name. So I'm just going to change the name to 
what it is. I'm just going to call Android underscore manifest underscore permission uh, underscore camera. Okay. And select OK. And I've set it so we actually, I'll just close this. I've set it. Enlarges. So I've set this so that my Mac Finder opens with the file here just to prove that it's happened. So I just select the setting in um, Android Studio. And since I've mentioned that, let me show you the setting I set. Not very good talking about it with actually showing it. So if we go into version control, and down here, in the confirmation section, it can be a bit hard trying to find things around Android uh, Studio. It's quite powerful. You've got the show patch and explore creation equals yes. So I did change that. I think it was ask, but I'm changing that to yes. So I've set that, which is why my finder box pops up. Okay, so my patch has now been created. So that's fine. I can upload that. But I want to test to see if that patch works. So... Basically, I'm going to simulate on applying a patch. So basically, I'm going to pull down the patch off my Android um, episode on my website and apply it here. So I'm just going to simulate that. So what I'm going to do here, first of all, is just to remove all the code changes I made. And I can just do a git checkout. Okay, that's now happened and I want to delete uh, no I don't want to delete my patch I want to use my patch okay so the next step here is I want to apply that patch to this so this as if we look here we've got the manifest permission camera here it doesn't have the fix so let's go to VCS again and select apply patch this time and here's my Android manifest patch I just made before looking at the date yeah that's new so just double click on that Okay, so we've got the patch here. Um, I'm going to put it into this existing change list that will need to be submitted, but I'll do that a bit later on. And everything else looks okay. So I'm just going to select okay. You'll see down here, patch successfully updated, which is good. And you can see the code changes have now been made to my source file here. Okay. Next step here is just to run that on my device just to make sure that works okay. And because this particular tutorial was when we're setting up runtime permissions on applications first being installed, I will have to uninstall the application, which has been done. Okay, so let's just run this. And install it onto my device. And let me just record this so you can see what's going on here. Okay, so I set up the application and it wants to use the camera to video for when well, basically when I want to use my application, the camera to video application wants to use the camera. So allow that. And we've got the connection has been made. So that is successful. That was what this particular episode was all about. Okay, so that's all there is to, to applying and creating your own patches. You can see using Android Studio it is quite straightforward to apply a patch or even if you wanted to create your own patch and send it off to somebody else just to try out your code changes. Anyway, so that completes the uh, patches using Android Studio. Um, if you want to get notified of any other sort of tutorials that I'm working on, don't forget to click on that subscribe button down below. And surrounding me is all my social media accounts, so if you follow social media and you want to keep up to date with all the news of mobile application tutorials, I've got Twitter feeds, I've got Facebook, Pinterest and Google Plus of course. So if you subscribe to any of those you will keep up to date with all the latest changes of what I'm working on. And directly above me is a link to my website as well. So. If you want to follow these tutorials, that's probably the best place to see it. Not only do you get the video, you also get the details of the code that goes into GitHub and brief explanations of what code changes go into these tutorials as well. Anyway, that's it for this one. Bye for now.